Cincinnati. Channel 2's Dave Barker talked with two officers who were there during the first moments of rioting. There's pandemonium out of control, uh, major rocks and bottles being thrown at citizens, at the officers, the, the sergeants. Everybody in the area was in uh, a lot of danger. We did not have the manpower to deal with, with how quickly it got out of hand. The, the crowd was unbelievably angry. Lisa Phillips and Dan Nee were in the epicenter of the violence at Normandy and Florence right after the verdicts. These beat cops are headquartered out of the 77th Street station here. Left with many frustrations, being outgunned that night, being blamed for LAPD management decisions, and the impression left that neighborhood cops abandoned residents here. It's near Stalker. That happened about a half hour ago. Otherwise, the streets of the city have been relatively calm on this the second night after federal troops left L.A. Some 4,000 Marines and Army troops left yesterday. They're going back to their home bases. But some 10,000 National Guard troops are still here, and most of them are on standby. Governor Wilson says he has no immediate plans to pull the guardsmen out. They will be remaining here indefinitely. Last week, Police Chief Daryl Gates blamed a division commander for letting the recent riots get out of control because he pulled back his officers. Tonight, newspaper reports say Gates did the same thing during the Watts riots when he was an inspector. Laurel Erickson reports. He decided at that point that he was overwhelmed and took all of his forces, all of the uniformed forces, to the command post at Van Nuys in 54. That's what LAPD Chief Darrell Gates said Friday when he blamed a lieutenant for not responding to the flashpoint of the L.A. riot. Florence and Normandy, where rioters could be seen beating truck driver Reginald Denny. And that is the, the opinion that is shared by many, that if we withdraw, uh, the riot will go away. Uh, that, is a, that is not the way you control a riot. That is not the way this department is trained. I do not believe in that. I believe that you go in and you stay and you control the riot. But when the Watts riot broke out on August 11, 1965, Daryl Gates, commander, ordered the same thing. Ordered officers back to the 77th Division. Pull out. The arrest of a black motorist had transformed a crowd into angry fury. White motorists dragged from cars and beaten. When we got to uh, probably 116th and Avalon, at that time, there was, there was quite a, a, a crowd there. And, uh, and from there, we started uh, getting the people to, to break it up. And, uh, and then, the, we, I don't know where the order came from or under what circumstances, but we were told to report back to 77th Station. Retired LAPD Sergeant Richard well, Cox it's, says it's, the dilemma facing uh, Gates well, and the lieutenant in charge of Florence and Normandy was similar. After the riot, Gates defended his action, and today the Daily News printed a copy of his report. A sweep of the area on foot was thought to be inadvisable at the time, he wrote, because of a lack of sufficient personnel and a belief that disorder would subside by itself. Coming, the riot moved out of control. That could well be, like I said, we don't have any idea who gave the order for us to leave that area down there. Laurel Erickson, Channel 4 News. Last week, killed as he sat at a family dining table drinking milk before bed. Killed when a gang bullet pierced a window in the Sanchez home and hit the innocent child in the head. A, a gang member uh, pulled down on um, the next street to my rear, stopped, saw some people standing in the street, thought they were gang members when in fact they were people who had left a service at the church behind me and uh, they fired uh, multiple rounds and uh, didn't hit anyone but one of the rounds or as you can look at the house you can see the, the strike marks and one of the bullets went through the windshield of the window and uh, struck uh, young uh, Ramon. Gang members at a church in Boyle Heights. He says he wants to know their problems and what their world is like. Their message to him, jobs will keep gang members off the streets. We need help down here, put it like that. You know, a lot of us want jobs, you know. A lot of us got kids, you know, for 25 an hour. You'll be working at McDonald's, you know, 24, 25 an hour. We need real jobs, you know. Would you guys stop selling slanging crack if you had a job? Yeah, I would. Be my job. The manger.
A child's murderer goes free. Tonight you saw it in my daughter's name. Later, a report on the real-life pain of parents.